The news is what's going on in the world. We jumping now. We done with Lazarus. That was an extension of uh, Lazarus, right? That was an extension of Lazarus. So we done with that particular uh, chapter. And we read all the way down to the concerning the resurrection, right? Boom. Now, now, what's going on in the news today? Now, you know Russia visited North Korea, right? You know Russia visited North Korea. Now, Russia is going to give North Korea uh, military hardware to where they can defend themselves and going to super succeed America capability. Whatever they get, they allies. So Vladimir Putin is on the type of time of asymmetric warfare. Then look up the meaning of asymmetric warfare. Now, when he went over there, uh, what Vladimir was doing, Vladimir was doing was extending uh, contracts that North Korea and uh, and uh, Russia had when Russia was uh, the USSR, right? So Vladimir Putin was extending contracts that they had agreement. But also, he had a, uh, they signed an agreement called a Comprehensive Partner uh, Treaty. The Comprehensive Partner Treaty, and that treaty basically saying that if Russia go to war, Right, North Korea gonna aid Russia. If North Korea go to war, Russia gonna aid North Korea. So they in, in alliance publicly, asymmetric warfare. So give me the meaning of asymmetric warfare. It says uh, asymmetric warfare can also describe a conflict in which belliger belligerents resources are uneven and consequently they both may attempt to exploit each other's relative weaknesses. So that's what uh, Vladimir Putin is doing to America. See, Vladimir Putin know the weakness of America, but they just been chilling, so to speak. They ain't really been doing it. You know what I'm saying? Going against them like that. They just been right. trying to go through the courts and do it right. But now they on some asymmetric warfare type of time. So now, uh, the North Korea president is gonna get technology to supersede America. And North Korea president, which America is scared of because that's a closed society, okay? They don't know what, they'll say, oh, they not eating good, they, they, uh, uh, the people are starving and all that. They got sanctions on them and all that. We they got sanctions on them. But America's guessing because it's a closed society. Okay? And Russia gonna give North Korea that grain and they gonna eat good. Because all that grain that they sitting on, Russia, sitting on in Russia and in Ukraine, they got the resources. They got it, man. And then you got the, the BRICS uh, alliances and the BRICS, the people who are involved in BRICS, they got resources, man. Right? So they gonna trade them amongst themselves and lift each other up, man. Right? Asymmetric warfare, man. Right? See, man, the most high so cold, the most high so cold that he just setting it up, man. Right? Because when you go back into history concerning North Korea and Russia, Years ago, Russia was saying what North Korea was doing was basically illegal concerning their missile technology. Now, Russia is on some asymmetric warfare time and they're helping North Korea. And now they're looking at North Korea as an ally pursuing to the uh, Comprehensive Partner Treaty. Through, out of there, right? Then, you got uh, in the news, you got China, right? You got China. Uh, you got the you got the Panama Canal, right? You got the Suez Canal, and you got the Straits 
uh, Malak. Now, the Straits of Malak, which I know you think don't, you know, you ain't never heard that. Stop it, stop it. You know about the Suez Canal, and you know about the Panama Canal, but you don't know about the Straits of Malak. So let me educate you. Okay? The Straits of Malak is in Malaysia, right? That's where the Straits of Malak is at, right there. You just can see. That's where the Straits of Malak is at, right there. Right? And the Straits of Malak is very important to China. It's like the Panama Canal and it's like the Suez Canal. So China is watching how uh, what's going on in the so-called Middle East, Western Asia, they seeing how uh, the Suez Canal is being affected concerning uh, ships going through there so they can trade. So they're watching it, they're seeing how it's affecting them. So China is making sure they secure the Straits of Malak, right? And they're looking at that, that port in Pakistan too, they're looking at that too, right? And Malaysia, Malaysia is the fifth largest economy, right, over there. And Thailand, Thai, Thailand is the what? It's like the second? The second. And Thailand and Malaysia In Southeast Asia, Thailand. And in Southeast Asia, uh, Malaysia is the uh, fifth. So, doing the Malak Straits right there, the Brits are securing that through China, right? And Malaysia and Thailand, Thai, Thailand uh, want to be part of the Brit. Let me have a Chapter two. Now I'm gonna say something right here. Right? Whole have a cool chapter two, right? Right? Let me know when you got it out. All right, give me what you got. You said chapter two, second attack? Yeah. All right, this is Habakkuk chapter two, verse one. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower. I will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And Yahweh by some Yahushai answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak. So, the BRICS include Russia and China, right? The BRICS is getting these nations, right? They got resources, even small nations. They got resources and on some asymmetric warfare time concerning the West, including America. See, they know America weak, they know America isolated, they know America ain't got the resources like they used to have, okay? They know America's economy is collapsing. The dollar is what's keeping America strong, okay? So, they separate. At the end, it shall speak. That's part of war. Okay? That's part of war right there. When you separate yourself, right, and start gathering other nations to come against your economy by not using the dollar. That's war. Gaddafi got put to death over there in Libya for that. Trying to do that. Okay? Got put to death. So that's war, man. You see? But what I want to do is read that one more time. This is Habakkuk 
chapter 2, on the top, yeah. verse uh, 1. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he, sh he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables, that he may run that readeth it. Verse 3, For the vision is set for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Go ahead. So verse 4, Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him. Yep, Babylon, controlled by Esau Edom, the so-called white man, the devil that the Bible speaks of, and the Rothschilds and the banker family are behind him. Go ahead. But the just shall live by faith. Go ahead. He also, because he he transgressed by wine, mm -hmm. he is a proud man, neither, neither keepeth at home. Go ahead. Who enlargeth his desire as hell. Go ahead and is as death, and cannot be satisfied. Go ahead. But gathereth unto him all nations, and heapeth unto him all people. Mm -hmm. Shall not all this, so I go. shall not all these take up a parable against him, mm -hmm. and a taunting uh, proverb against him, and say woe to him that increaseth that which is not his. All the resources. That America used to do uh, in their colonial power. See? Go ahead. It says, How long? Question. And to him that leadeth himself with thick clay. Now, when you look up that word thick clay, which the apostles, uh, all, which the apostles brought that out, right? Apostles of Great Millstone, Apostle Hard on down, right? When they tell you you need to look up words. Right? So when you look up that word right there, debt, it, I mean, thick clay goes into debt. And that's the U.S. debt right there. Now, it's more than that, but I'm just giving you the national U.S. debt. 34 trillion. That's the U.S. debt clock. It's still going. 34 trillion right there. See? It's more than that. But that's the U.S. That's the U.S. national debt. 34 trillion. They can't pay the interest rate. Out of that. So if you're in debt with credit, you are, you do. If you owe all these people, you do. I'm just saying, an average person, if your credit card, all your credit cards is maxed out, you in you in trouble. You're not gonna be able to pay it off because it continues to go up. It continues, it continues to go up. To you take another up. credit card and get another loan. You take another credit card and get another loan. You are never out of debt. You a slave. That's America, man. See, to the banking elite, they owe. Stupid people walking around like they don't love them. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? They're buried in death. In death. <laughs> you see? Like they're on the level, like they prosper. Right. It's all an illusion, man. Like they and that's they why, and that's why, oh, let, let me get this. Let me get this right here. Let me get this. Malaysia ambassador said the West is no longer a colonial power. According to Al Jazeera, you see, this is the problem with the West. They want to control the discourse, but we can no longer accept it because they are no longer a colonial power and independent countries should be free to express themselves, Anwar said, according to Guancha. You see that? So that's a uh, Malaysia government official saying, we're going to join the BRICS. That's a Malaysia government official saying, United States is no longer, the West is no longer a colonial power. What does colonial power mean? Let's Google that. What is the meaning of a colonial power? According to Fiveable, a colonial power refers to a country that extends its political, economic, and military control over other regions or territories outside its own borders. Out of there. <laughs> you see? So the people, even my, the, the, <laughs> even the people in Malaysia, 
the government officials know that America is no longer a colonial power. I ain't talking about Russia and China. I'm talking about Malaysia. Y'all know what Malaysia is? I'll show y'all on the map. I'll show y'all on the map just in case y'all get amnesia. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all not good in geography. That's Russia, right there. That's China, right there. That's Malaysia, right there. You see how small Malaysia is? They saying the government of Malaysia is saying America is no longer colonial power. Hey, <laughs> man. Go ahead, bro. Start back on one more time. Bro. This is Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 1. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And Yahweh by Shem Yahushai answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not, and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Man, the fall of America will surely come according to prophecy. You see it. You see it. Let me change this battery, bro.